and this is a game we're playing. Mm hmm An old co-op Seth and I did a long time ago, and now have started up again. This is Final Fantasy V. And I am Seth 12 And yep, and this is iHeart Movies. This is our co-op LP. We started a long while ago, thanks to a Sage's uh, co-op uh, group LP thing. And this is now brought back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, we were... I don't know. We, we were both thinking about it off and on, mm -hmm. and we decided, why not? Exactly, Let's just yeah. go for it. Yeah, today worked out perfectly for us to record, and here we are. <clears throat> and Turtle Shenanigans going on right now. And... So where are we headed off to today? Um, right now, um, actually, we're, we're in the middle of an earthquake. Uh, oh, great. So we, uh, uh, what do we do? Uh, we found a meteor that's crashed out of nowhere. It's a random plot device. And now we're fighting more goblins. That's amazing. Don't you guys love those random plot devices? They I just know, come out of nowhere and set the game on? Exactly. You mean you can't have a game without them. And then Amnesia. I know. There you go. Yay, but gained the level. Uh oh. My video on Skype froze. Uh oh. <laughs> may or may not have to fix that. Mmm. <clears throat> video thing real quick first, so yay for interruptions already. <laughs> Let's see. Video, video, video. Okay. Should be okay now. Yeah, it's moving. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Oh no, okay, there we go. Oh no, already? I know. We're like Jeez, that was quick. And they're, and they're already dead. Oh I thought we were gonna have more party members, but no. We have like three more spots available. Oh, 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 there we go. Never mind. Oh, okay, they're good. Come on, you're a Final Fantasy protagonist. You can last longer than that. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> I forgot we did that. I know, I know. I had to look up our file, our, our first episode, see what we named him, and I have no idea what led to that. But his name was Buds. <laughs> there we go. So that's in the VR running joke for the entire LP. Get used to it. Buds. <laughs> Oh my god. This is going to be fun, I can already tell. We're gonna have to go around, aren't we? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yep. Right oh dude, he's alive too! Yes! Yes, more party members! Alright! No, we have four already. Party we have members! There you go. Oh, I wish the Chocobo could be a party member. That'd be so kick ass, I would love it. He would have Choco Kick and you could summon a fat Chocobo. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> Why are you laughing? Stop laughing! Apparently thought he was dead, but now he's not. <laughs> Common rule in RPGs, the triple ellips ellipsis. <clears throat> and wait for it. Wait for it. Cue the motivational music, right about now. Alright! Let's go! Let's go! Easy operation! We're going. This is, she said she had to go to the wind shrine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a uh, a random cave that uh, that uh, was created thanks to the earthquake around here. So to the north hole we go. Well, at least it's easy to find. Oh yeah, you can't really go anywhere else right now, anyway. So. There we go. Insert, Whoa! Insert chocobo A into cave B. Can our chocobo really going? Oh no, damn. No, we're good, unfortunately. Dang! I know. It sucks. That door's big enough. Come on, Bogo. There ain't no random battles in the way there. Come on, buds. Chocobo is manly enough to handle itself. I know, really. There's only got to be a few goblins in here, I think. Actually, there's Hopefully. There's new enemies in here, including oh, these guys, steel bats. These guys are uh -oh. easy. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I was intimidated for all of two seconds. <laughs> Dang it, game. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you I had me easy. worried. Why did you do that, game? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> That's spring? Free healing? Already. Wow. And more random battles. Oh. Well, that's... We're almost intimidating and- Oh my god, that one didn't die! I know. What the hell? What the hell, game? Oh, wow, Gluth. Oh. Jesus. That's, uh... <laughs> he has no weapon currently, so... Does Lena have a weapon? Yeah, she has a... I think a dagger, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's why she's doing more damage. Yeah, and then Butts has a uh, broadsword. 
buds. Really, game? Wow. I remember when I first played this game, I would train here actually quite a bit early on. Oh my game. god, it's Crab. We have to attack its weak point for massive damage. Yes. I have no idea. If his name's Dero. That's a random name for a crab, but, you know, whatever. Wah. Yeah. What kind of name for a crab is that, game? I know. You should call it Krabby. Or, or... Or Tangler. Yeah. Or, uh... Oh man, I can't remember the third generation one. No! <clears throat> oh, Ash totally caught one in the anime. I don't watch the anime ever. I know oh, the, the black and white one's going on right now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm not even gonna touch that. Yeah, the games of Zelda's actually really, really fun so far. Oh my god, Pokemon Black is amazing. I know, yeah, I got white myself. I'm, 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 I'm not to, uh, where am I? Uh, the second gym town place thing. Oh, I'm already up to the eighth. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, I haven't played the game for a while. I got to finally support Complete Collection a little while. Oh, I'm jealous! I need to steal your game! Oh, oh. God, no, I love that game. Oh my god, I need to get that. That's, that's... How much was it? Four, four dollars? Thirty, actually. Thirty? Jesus, I need thirty dollars. I know. <clears throat> you pretty much get two and a half games in one, is you get Bobby Sports Cell, you get the Interlude, which is the uh, story bridge gap thing between that and the After Years, and then the After Years. That's amazing. You get all the plots for the After Years, too? Yes, you do. They're all available to start. Damn! I know, I love it. Sony, you just totally one up Nintendo. Pretty much, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I find it funny for that. Um, the after years on the Wii, um, all together it was 39 bucks total. And then now it's, it's pretty much free on the uh, PSP, so. <clears throat> and you get remade Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> what are they actually, doing? It's a random pirate. And we're <laughs> humping the wall. Oh my god. The shenanigans this game pulls on you. Oh my god, this game is just. <laughs> I literally did not even move. What the hell, Dan? What the hell? It's just not cool. Encounter rate. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. And literally, what? we did not move. Lena and Galip did, but we did not. It's their fault. I know, I blame them entirely. God, why did you have to move, people? No, really. Of course, if they didn't drive up the wall, then wouldn't have happened. Um, it should have just been butts. No one else needs to move. We would not have more bats. Exactly. I'm gonna use a potion on butts here. Ooh. Uh, oh, it's just, I got the real. It's all good. Yep. Ooh, leather helmet. Equipment! Yeah, I'll do that to Lena. She has the lowest HP mm. right now. Ah! I've never liked equipment in Final, in Final Fantasy games. Oh, yeah. Because it's never that good until you get the final weapons and stuff in the game and then... That is stop. true. It's one thing I kind of liked from Dino Saga 2, we actually just got that not too long ago. There's no equipment in that game whatsoever, actually, so... Really? Yeah, not, not whatsoever. There's no money either, actually. What? It's actually it's a crazy concept, but um, I, so far it's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa. You just blew my mind, sir. Oh, I know. I do what I can. Yeah, the battle system is, um... Uh... Kind of sort of iffy. Each enemy has like a, a natural like zone between A, B, and C. Like, the enemy can have like a B, C zone or whatever. And you attack the zone and you have massive damage. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. That's. Whoa. I know. I've never heard of a game with an RPG with no money or equipment ever. That's crazy. I know. Yeah, so far it's actually a pretty good game. The Xenosaurus games in general are actually really, really good. I've heard 3 is really, really good on top of that. Yeah, 3 is apparently the best in the series. That's what I heard, although episode 1 was really good as well. So we have a ship with no wind, but doesn't that make sense? No? No, I guess not. Of course not. Normal of course things not. in real life don't make sense in an RPG, and vice versa. That's pretty much how they work. Oh, bots, you can take them. Yeah. If Cecil can take out, or not Cecil, if the White Warriors can take out 9 pirates in Final Fantasy 1, you can take out 1, dude. Kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> Galoof can punch him in the face. Lenny can shank him with their dagger. And then we can and kill him with a rock sword. And we'll take their boat and we'll be done here. Yes. Yeah, oh, well here's how they play this off. They're sleeping. Yeah, these are great pirates. <laughs> Worst pirates ever. At least the ones in Pompey's 1 were somewhat competent. Although their grammar was horrible. We'll make their bones go crunch. Well, this guy are sick. <laughs> Blame grammatical error, 
pretty much ever. Oh man. <laughs> Off course. Alright, let's go steal us a boat. Yes! What's it saying right here? No one aboard it for us to use, so why not take it? We can we can pilot we can pilot a boat. Oh, definitely. The collective IQ for this team is probably around 70 or 80, but I think that's enough to operate a boat. Maybe. Hopefully. So... Let's move, except not. Nope. We won't move at all. The plot is stopping you. Uh-oh. The plot really is stopping you. Oh, it's a trap! <laughs> never seen a pink-haired pirate, but I... First time You've got enemies in second 47. What do we do? All right now, Port Butts uh, and Philip are picking out like an OMG lol princess. <laughs> They've never played an RPG before, have they? I guess <laughs> not, no. Well, Glyph's far too old to know what an RPG is, and Butts uh, is uh, too busy dealing with his own name crisis. And his chocobo. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, well, there's gonna be a plot point that's gonna get explained in a bit. <laughs> like, ridiculous plot point. Oh, definitely. Okay. I haven't played all of this game, but I know what happens here. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game myself, but I pretty much... I generally know the gist of it. Both story and also, like, game stuff-wise. It appears we are trapped. No. <laughs> I love the back and forth between the characters in this game. <laughs> My head hurts, I can't remember. Do <laughs> you placed Amnesia? I think so. Oh man. <clears throat> and here comes the necessary plot to explain the whole princess story. She's gonna save the world! Oh my god, blue screen. Oh god, no, did your computer crash? No. <laughs> Let's hope not, that would suck. A lot. Uh oh. Exposition. <clears throat> someone needs to make a song for exposition. Surprise, no one has already. I'm sure someone will in the near future. I wonder why they have the same pendant. Huh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where the game's taking this. <laughs> well, right now we have literally gone nowhere so far. All we've done is explore a cave. And then get captured. <clears throat> Seriously, it's not fair, game. Yeah. What? Well, how did we get out? What? The... They don't explain anything in this game. We just, we just jump out of nowhere. Tire the ropes, throw them off the ship. Okay. Let's go for a swim. <laughs> hey, let's go for a ride. It'll be super groovy underwater. You triggered my trap card. Change of heart. Except that's a magic card. Should have tried. <laughs> oh man, I'm just playing the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, and I was like, ten. I still have a friend who plays it like extremely seriously. Oh, he spent like fifty bucks on a card. It's ridiculous. On a card. A card. Seriously. Well, whatever floats his boat. Well, what's floating our boat? On a boat. Okay. Sildra. That's a fancy name. What the heck is it? It's a. Oh my God! It's Leviathan. It's gonna eat Radio. Run away. Oh my God. Oh, wait, that's the that's the last. No, she's Damn safe. it. She's safe now. <laughs> I hope. Don't kill me. I love the faces when they freak out when they see Sildra. I am not a tasty burger. <laughs> uh... Sildra's a dude. We're off on the road. We're on the road to Viridian City. <laughs> I totally just went there. Uh Okay, yeah, we are not going to the one shrine. There's one place I want to go from first, which is right up over here. Oh, really? 
area. Not a whole lot we know right now except this little town here that's apparently made up of four houses and two trees, it looks like. Something looks like, like three that. houses and two trees. I think oh, one yeah. of the houses is stuck together. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we're going to actually have to go ahead and go in here right now, and we will explore this town, the town of Tool, for next episode. So we will see you guys then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.